Hi guys, welcome to sex linkage and autosomal linkage. So uh, in terms of the specification, we are here now. So those are another crosses that we will be looking at. So in terms of the sex linkage, uh, the genes will be carried on X or Y chromosome. So if they are carried on those, they are said to be sex linked. What do we need to remember? It's the fact that the X chromosome it's much longer than the Y chromosome. So the characteristics controlled by recessive alleles on the non-homologous portion of the X chromosome uh, will appear more frequently in the male, okay? Because we don't have this, uh, this portion on the Y chromosome. So... Um, no homologous portion of uh, uh, of that white chromosome that will have the dominant allele. So if any of the characteristics are uh, causing the, the genetic disease, for example, and are caused by recessive allele, it's more likely that, that a female will have it. So uh, let's have a quick example. How does it work? So, uh, so we're going to look at the eye color, and this characteristic is uh, is carried on the X chromosome. So the white type is represented by a dominant area, red eyes, and the white uh, eyes are represented by recessive area A. So uh, the parents we're going to use for this cross will be white and white type of the eyes. So the genotypes are here as follow. So we've got the uh, uh, the female, okay, and we've got the male. As you can see, the uh, white uh, eyes are carried on the X chromosome. There is no alias on the Y chromosome because there is no homologous portion. So Y stays empty. So meiosis is taking place, of course, with producing gametes. And uh, and those are our gametes. Uh, the letters that comes up here are just Ws, but uh, it meant to be A. So uh, what we're going to get in our uh, in our uh, offspring, we're doing a Punnett square. So we're using the gametes that we work out of putting gametes from one parent on one side, gametes from the other parent on the other side, and we're working out our uh, offspring. So uh, in this situation, as we can see, everything has changed because uh, we produce 50-50, uh, of course, of the females and males. The females still got the uh, uh, red eyes, but each of the males now has uh, has red eye uh, eyes as well. How is it possible? Because the Y chromosome always in the males will come from the male, but the X chromosome has to come from the female. So if the female was homozygous for this characteristic, there is no other way than passing this characteristic to the offspring. So in uh, in this situation, we are going to get 50% of the red-eyed female and 50% of the red-eyed male. What's really important in terms of the sex linkage when it comes to the phenotype, you must say if you are talking about male or female. If you don't do so, you're losing marks on your exam. So make sure it's done properly. Right? In terms of the sex linkage, they, they will be talking about the genetic disorders. So we did say that uh, males are more likely to carry their genetic disorder. Why? Because they can have only two options. They can be either healthy or unhealthy. So it depends on whatever uh, disease it's caused, for example, in this situation by the recessive allele, they will be uh, unhealthy if that comes up in the genotype. But in terms of the female, if that allele comes up in the genotype once, the female will be a carrier, but still healthy. The female will be uh, carrying the disease if it uh, will have both of the alleles in the genotype. So it's really important. Uh, remember, 
there is no uh, homologous portion of the Y chromosome and this is Y. So let's have a look here at the example of hemophilia, which is a, a sex link recessive condition. And here we've got a cross between the mother, which is a carrie, and the father, who is normal. So this part is going to produce two of the alleles and same mother. So uh, in this situation, uh, all of the uh, females that will be, pro uh, will be produced, they are healthy. One of those is a carrier. In terms of the male, one is healthy, but one will be unhealthy. Why? Again, Y chromosome always comes from that. So the X chromosome must come from mom, okay? And mom was a, a carrier, hence this, uh, there is a 25% chance that there will be a one, a one uh, male, unhealthy male with the hemophilia, okay? So another thing that they could ask you to do is use the pedigree charts. So for the pedigree charts, we need to work out the evidence. We need to back it up with the individuals, or you might be able to work out the genotypes. So the pedigree charts look like this, could look slightly different. So uh, we've got male, we've got female. Black colors are identical. Uh, uh, shows us the uh, unhealthy individuals. And what you could be asked to do. For example, those uh, individuals here could be numbered, and you could ask, uh, you could be uh, asked to explain uh, the genotype, let's say, of this this lady here. So, what's the approach here? For example, we know that this is unhealthy male. So, unhealthy male will be X, lowercase H, Y, and here we've got a uh, um, a female, okay. So the female uh, in this situation could be uh, could be uh, definitely healthy because uh, because that's uh, that's the baby here, a male who is uh, healthy. So what happens uh, or could be a carrier as well. So what happens here, okay? How do we work out if he is unhealthy? Okay, that means that this female here definitely will be a carrier because one of the X chromosomes comes from that and the other one will come from mom. So that could be uh, that could be the a uh, little bit of help with working out the genotypes from the pedigree charts. Okay. So carrier. Okay. So uh, one more uh, one more type of the genetic cross we got for today it's the autosomal linkage. So we did look at the uh, sex linkage. So we were looking at the X and Y chromosome, and the rest of those 22 pairs are called autosomal chromosomes. So uh, what what we're going to look at? We're going to look at the crosses. So. This is a normal dihybrid cross that shows you that the genes A okay, uh, and B are on separated chromosomes. They are not linked. So in this situation, you remember your year one, uh, you remember your meiosis, you remember the independent assortment. So those uh, chromosomes uh, can give us many possibly, uh, possible gametes due to the process of meiosis. So that's nothing else than the normal dihybrid cross, okay, when we get the ratio 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. But when it comes to the uh, autosomal linkage, the uh, genes A and B will come up on the same chromosome, okay, so as you can see A and B are on the same chromosomes. So in this situation, we can get nothing else than capital A, capital B in the first of the gamete and lower cases A and B in the uh, second of our gamete. So there is less genetic uh, variation in the uh, autosomal linkage. So let's have a look how it works. So uh, it works by the process that, of course, the genes are carried on the same autosome, so they are linked, 
and we also assume in this situation that there is no crossing over. 